in this video we're going to be altering how we interact now the kind of the logic that we're going behind with this is also going to be translated into how we shoot and what I mean by that is we're going to be creating a crosshair and setting it up in the center and when we shoot we want our rounds to be going towards the center of the crosshair because currently it's going based off of the weapon if I can even pick the thing up there we go it's going based off of the weapons muzzle location and rotation which yes we want that but we want to make it go towards the center of where we're aiming not often kind of wherever it wants to go so what we can do for that for our interact is we're going to be using our cameras location rotation and stuff what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sending out a line trace for x distance and if it comes into contact with anything like the impact point for example if that's not just an empty vector meaning there actually is an impact point and it did hit something then what we're going to do is we're going to be using that as our kind of our our basis for sending out the line trace from our character so we're still going to be going based off of our head so for example if we go into our interact function our start location is the head bones location so we're going to be going off of the head bone towards whatever the wherever our crosshair was wherever that line trace impact point was and the reason behind this instead of going through our camera is in case there's a slight glitch or something like that where our camera I mean our character won't normally be able to reach out and grab something we won't be grabbing it because the character can't so we're using we're just kind of going based off of our character still but the direction of the line is going to be based off of the impact point of our camera's line trace which going to have to end up passing that endpoint into our server so we can go ahead and get started on that uh, first thing we're going to do actually is we're going to modify our temporary HUD and offset our camera so we're going to create our own little crosshair now in the description we will have a download to a little crosshair I made and we're going to be setting that up to use in our temporary HUD so let's go ahead and open our temp HUD we're going to add out We'll drag out an image onto our canvas panel. I'm just gonna give it a name of crosshair. I'm gonna do I underscore crosshair. We're gonna anchor it to the center and reset its location. So you can see it's still a little off, so we need to change that up, but we're gonna set the crosshair texture first. So let's go ahead and drag the crosshair into our project, just like so. Now you see we have it here, our little texture, and now we can select it. So with our image crosshair selected, if we go to appearance, brush, image, you will see crosshair. So we can set that. And it'll automatically stretch it and all that kind of stuff, but we want it to be square. So we're gonna leave the size the same as well, our Y. So we're gonna do 30 by 30, like so. And let's just see what it looks like. Alright, so it's not in the center exactly, but that's about the size that we want the crosshair, so we're just going to leave it. Now we need to move it into the center. So this anchor is in the dead center, but this crosshair is offset. So we need to do to move it to the center, well we can click and drag obviously, or we can do the easy way and say, what's well, half of 30? Well that's 15, so let's just subtract our position by 15. And it'll translate it right to the center so now we have a crosshair in the dead center of our window now we can offset our camera so in our third person CPP let's open that up go to our viewport camera now it's taking a little bit to travel so we're gonna raise it up we're gonna go up by let's say 60 I'm gonna go actually to the side view get about the head height so that's I think about where the eyes would be and I want to go off of the shoulder so that's about I'll go a little farther let's go about the 50 so where it's hanging over the edge and see what it looks like right. 
that's not bad actually. I think I'm going to leave it. The way we're going to end up doing this, it doesn't matter. We can move our camera around wherever we want and it's still going to work. So it's not a, it's not really a big deal. I'm probably going to move it in just a little bit. Uh, do just a little more, and then I'm going to lower it some to about shorter and see what that looks like. There we go. I kind of like that a little bit better. You can still see the majority of the character as well as just it kind of looks a little more natural. You can actually see right now it's going pretty close to the center of the crosshair but it's still not correct. So it's just going based off of our control rotation. For example, like you can see how sometimes it's a little off. If I can actually make it to where it's off, you can see there, that's kind of an example. It's still going off of, it's just due to our this was actually kind of luck that we got it to where it's this close, but we're still going to change it because it's not actually traveling to our the center of our screen. So let's make it do that. So what we're going to do first is we're going to use our camera, our follow camera's location and rotation to create a line trace, and we're going to go based off of that line trace, what's essentially happening. So we can get our new start location. So if vector KM start equals follow camera. Get component location. Then we're going to get our end. So F vector cam end equals cam start plus follow camera. Get component rotation. <coughs> rotation. We're going to convert that to a vector. Then we're going to multiply that by a length that's longer than our current interaction. So we're going to do like, I don't know, 400, 300 something. Let's do 400. So the reason for that is because the camera is a good ways behind the character. Let's, let's actually bump that up to 500. Right, so now we have our cameras start and end. Now we can get our impact point. So the way we can do that, we can do F vector impact point equals line trace component, our line trace component. We can do line trace single. We're going to take in cam start, cam end. Then we're going to get, because we're trying to hit result, what we're going to do is we're going to get the impact point. So line trace single returns an F hit result. F hit result contains a variable called the impact point, which is an F vector. So we're essentially just getting it and storing it in our impact point. And from here, what we can do is if impact point dot equals F vector zero vector, we're just simply going to return because it obviously had hit nothing. All right, so we have our line trace for our camera, and now we can use our impact point as our essentially where we're going to create and send our line, like the direction we're going to send our line. So if we head over here to, well, Unreal Engine's portion, we have a function called find look at rotation. Now what this does, it returns an F rotator that is based off of kind of a direction. So let's say I'm standing in front of you and you move to my right. Well, if I take my F vector, my coordinates, and your coordinates, I would get the rotation that I need to turn to face you. So that's what find look at rotation is going to do. So we can go ahead and use the include. So it's the Kismet math library. So let's go ahead and copy that and include it in our project. And we can get started. So we're still going to use the same start position. 
but the end position is what's going to change. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our start position and we're going to add our look at rotation to it. So you Kismet Math Library, find look at rotation. We have our start and our impact point. Now because it returns an F rotator, we need to convert it to a vector for it to work properly. And now we are good to go. So if we compile, we should see the line trace kind of face our crosshair. Like wherever the impact point is, it's that's where it's going to head to. Once it compiles. There we go. Let's look and see. As you can see, it's going to the dead center of our cursor, well, for our line trace. So now we need to do pretty much pass the endpoint to our server. So we're going to take this and we're going to pass it into server interact. So we need to modify server interact right here in our header to take in an F vector and just call it end. So in our implementation, we didn't make it use this endpoint. So what we can do is literally remove our end and check it. So, but what we need to do is we need to also kind of get the distance. So we, eh, I'm not really going to be concerned about that actually right now that I'm thinking about it. But let's just pass in the endpoint to our function. So we're going to copy end. And for each server interact, we're just going to make it take that in as the parameter, just like so, and compile. This will allow us to still do checks to see if you know something's blocking it, so we're not picking up stuff through walls and that kind of thing. All right, let's give it a try. Make sure we can pick this up as we can. And as you can see, now everything is dirt easy to pick up, <coughs> which is very handy. I didn't realize that would actually move him. But yeah, that's going to be kind of the uh, basis of our aiming as well. Because when we aim and shoot, the round's going to, well, the line trace is going to be heading towards our crosshair. So let's do a quick reiteration of what we've done. So we're pretty much getting the <clears throat> where our cameras, we're shooting a line trace straight out from our camera. And wherever it hits, that's going to be our basis for rotation. So that's why we check if our impact point equals zero. Well, a zero dot vector, because that means it collided with nothing. So it's literally a zero dot vector. So x, y, and z are zero. So then we take our start location and we take our impact point, wherever that may be. We're going to use the use Kismet math library to find the look at rotation for that. So that is essentially, like I said, if me and you are standing in the world, I'm looking straight at a wall and you are a little bit to my right, I take my coordinates and your coordinates into this function my coordinates, your coordinates, we can determine the rotation that I need to face you. So, so we're going to take that, multiply that by the length that we want the line trace to go out, which is 170 centimeters, and then continue on like we do as normal. Now we're taking that endpoint and passing it into the server, just because the server doesn't have access necessarily to our follow camera, because it just doesn't need to. <coughs> And that allows us to essentially just do everything like normal, but via the crosshair to make everything easier to pick up.
right, so I guess this is the locked door. So, yeah, that's all there really is to that, and I will see you in the next one.